Here we go, guys. Double choppers. Let's do it. Oh my god. <laughs> What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Okay, my foot. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because you guys have been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting to drop this video for a while. But we got a brand new episode of Doomsday Preppers. Yeah! <laughs> I'm pretty fucked for today. So today, it's not just regular Doomsday Preppers, though. We're taking from another TLC show. Extreme Cheapskates Edition. <laughs> so what I was thinking is, the whole process of Doomsday Prepping is basically, where me and Parker are trying to learn all these different survival techniques, all these different survival products in order for survival during a doomsday situation. As many people may know, especially doomsday preppers, it can get very, very, very expensive. So, right here in this box, I went online to a website called Wish, which if you're on this channel, you know what Wish is. Basically a place where you can get stuff for dirt cheap and you just kind of have to roll the dice <laughs> and hope it's okay. So, come on over here. In this box, I have filled up with pretty much every item I could find in the survival section on Wish. Everything you were seeing in this video today. I got for under $100. Like every item or the whole total? This whole box. Oh god. <laughs> My thought process was though, if we go through this stuff on Wish, maybe we could find some of the good items that are on there and that would save money from the long term items. Because to buy, I'm telling you, with stuff that is in this box, if we were to buy it on example, say Amazon or go to like Bass Pro Shop, everything in here would be over three to $500, guaranteed. If we can find some extreme cheapskates versions, then let's see what we got here. So this is what Wish has for their survival items. Let's go through it. All right, guys. So we're gonna pop into it right now. Let's get it. All right, so let's see right here first item I'm gonna grab the first thing off the top There is a lot of stuff in here and you guys know as usual I probably won't be able to get to everything in the box because I always fill these things up thinking Oh, we'll film it all and then I realized hey the video would be like six hours So <laughs> let's go with the first item here. Let's try and move it out here. Let's see. Okay, it's pretty soft It's very soft. Okay after further inspection. This is a sleeping bag Okay, so we're about to find out what does a wish sleeping bag look like I thought the sleeping bag would have been rolled up a little better, but you know what screw it <laughs> and how much I paid for this seven dollars. That was the shipping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope something's in there. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna rip this thing. <laughs> I guess you are gonna rip this thing. <laughs> it was very easy to rip. Hey, okay, that looks a little bit more. Never mind. Feel this slimy bag. <laughs> All right, let's pop it open. It came with a bag for seven bucks. Not gonna complain about that. And here is my sleeping bag. That looks limp and depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my. We got the Wish sleeping bag. That is it. It's pretty big. It's pretty big, but like, can we talk about the fact that there was like nothing in here? What are these staples? <laughs> Let's go outside and check this thing out real quick. But I don't like the fact that you can act, you see through it. Is that just me? You can see through it. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Do you see my hand through there? You hold up too. <laughs> yes. The fact that you can see my finger shows you how much cushion your head hey, got. Hey, you know what? We <laughs> we pay a lot of extra money for some breathable underwear. Maybe, maybe like, that's like the luxury breathable sleeping bag. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. It's <laughs> Let's check this outside and see what kind of cushion this thing provides. You look pathetic. I know. <laughs> I knew that before I got in the sleeping bag. <laughs> oh my god. You look like you're trying to bust out of your cocoon, but like you just look uglier. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even put my head down. Hey, can't just pull that little, little piece of it. I can't. <laughs> why, is, why is one arm out? There's not enough room for my other arm. <laughs> I'd say wish if you want to make a better sleeping bag, assume that I'm not five foot two. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wait, 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 you don't want to throw that thing around. You might make it blow up or something. Yeah, it might spark and then be the most flammable thing on earth. This is all you have between the earth and your <laughs> back. Okay, so we can check this one off the list. That is not worth the money. Okay, so wish, as usual, the wish is mostly you just wishing that the product could. So let's yeah, go to the next yeah, time. I was just thinking that, yeah, I, I wish I could get some sleep. <laughs> I wish I could get something for my value. <laughs> We'll pop into this. Let's see what we got. Okay, typical Wish product wrapped up in Otter Pops. All right, let's cut into these Otter Pops and see what we got in here. It's in Chinese. Okay, okay. I actually know what this is. This is supposed to be a tactical axe. Remember that shovel that had multi pieces to break down? Yes. That was a very expensive. Just letting you know that. So, <laughs> so I was trying to see if they had options like that that were significantly cheaper because so many of you guys loved that shovel. I was like, let's see if I can find a shovel, which should hopefully be in here, and also an axe that are also multi tools and see if they hold up just as good that other one did. Okay guys, so we've opened it up and this might be our silver linings. If you guys haven't watched the Wish video before, for every, like I said, for every product that's sh you got 10 more sh products and then you get one good one. I think maybe this might be our silver lining here. Right here, this one comes with, this was 
colors and it comes with a solid handle obviously a glass breaker a mini knife and a super surprisingly solid actual axe head feel that thing that's like the most solid thing that has come from which you felt it okay give me it back all right you felt it long enough you're safe now with me we're gonna go outside and try it out real quick let's go ahead and close this thing down though so you can put the axe head in or you can obviously put this in and you can even put this on the bottom so you have the knife and you have your glass breaker you got an axe in this hand you got a blade in this hand boom and you know what you have you didn't mention protection oh yeah and it comes with a condom Let's go outside. So we're gonna test this out real quick, guys. One thing I don't like about it is all these Chinese screwdrivers all over it. Like, what are all these Chinese See, screwdrivers? You call it a screwdriver? <laughs> a I know it's a wrench, but in China, it's a screwdriver. <laughs> all right, first we're gonna check out is this back pick piece. I bet you guys liked it last time, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna aim for the lid. Don't know if I can do it again, but we'll try for it. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Success! Success! All right, next target. All right, back test again. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, I think we might have found our silver lining here. This thing is super solid and the grip is nice as hell. You know what? Probably smells nice too now. Oh yeah, it smells like Chinese metal. What? You know, like uh, baby metal? Are those Chinese or Japanese? Oh, that's funny. I, I, <laughs> I mean, that doesn't matter. I'll, I'll give you that. Funny. <laughs> All right, hack test. Let's see how it works. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, that was so simple. It's because it's so heavy, dude. That head is nice. Boom! 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 What more do you want? He's dead. Now he's dead. <laughs> this is solid. <laughs> it's literally chipping rock. And the back of it has not lost a little bit of sharpness. That's impressive. The only thing that's ever done that was cold steel. And I'm not saying oh, it's cold steel. Know, we ain't saying nothing like that. <laughs> it definitely held up for 15 bucks. So I'm going to say this. Oh, wait, that is a glass breaker. I forgot about that. Let's try that first. If this works, maybe seal. All right, here we go. Let's test the glass breaker. Three, two, one. All right, so that's it. King wrapped our seal of approval on screen. I think this is the first Wish product to get in a while, but the fact that I was able to literally break damn rock with it and this back piece is still unaffected, donezo, get the seal. So the next item, a lot of these, I don't know exactly what's in them, so it's just a big merger of just different stuff. But the next item, I do know what it is, and I got it for a specific reason. It's unbelievable. So this, <laughs> this is a 70 piece first aid kit. I just thought if this is real, you guys need to know about it. I need to know about it because first aid kits are great and very useful, but they're also super expensive. We have a first aid kit around here in ADHD World Production. I have no clue where it's at, which is probably a bad thing, but we have a first aid kit and that one costs over a hundred dollars. This one has more pieces and it was 12, 12 dollars. 12 dollars. Oh my God. I have a firm suspicion that the stuff that is in there can't be real. Like the peel, like they have pills in there. They have people see both. We're going to figure it out. Let's get to do it. Suspicious. Did we find the holy grail of first aid kits? Let's see. We saw that. No, you didn't. Okay, so we got this piece open. That looks a lot smaller than the picture. Y I mean, yeah. It looks big. <laughs> and there's another picture with a family, and the bag looks like the same size as the family. I put that one on screen right now when I find that picture. Okay, so the size alone already explains the $12 thing. Let's see what we got here, though. You got this right here. Is that one of the items? No, this <laughs> teaches you child and baby CPR. <laughs> oh, wow. See, as long as you read that, you get your certificate. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. You know, the thing is, if you perform CPR on somebody and you don't have a license and they die, it's your fault. So, don't, don't follow instructions like this. <laughs> now, let's see if, wow, not gonna lie, that's pretty stockpiled. Let's see the quality of these items, the quality, does it matter? All right, first thing we found in here is a CPR mask. So you put this over someone's face that is dying, and this is where you don't have to touch their filthy lips. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of stuff. First aid booklet, including notepad. <laughs> this is actually pretty lit. Ow, my eye hurts. Here, become a pirate. <laughs> All right, you had enough for tonight. You need to go to bed, girl. <laughs> All right, then we got some hyperallergenic tape. I don't really know, like, how many people are allergic to regular uh, tape. But <laughs> yeah. everything else here, though, is pretty good value. We got some hydrogel here for burns and also scalds. This is for when your friend roasts you too hard. You got from the scald cream. For $12, I'm going to go ahead and give it to him. That's a lot of value. It's smaller than I expected. $12, you get emergency blanket. Why not? I mean, this is like a dollar. Less than a dollar. Did you got an EpiPen? Is that an EpiPen or is that a normal pen? That's a normal pen. Wait a minute. All right, now it's an EpiPen. e pie. Shut up. <laughs> All right, guys, that first thing, like I said, I would not give it a no seal, but I'd say it was actually worth $12. Keep that in the car, you know, if somebody blitz a goddamn artery, maybe okay. <laughs> no, right maybe not. not a major artery. No, probably, yeah, maybe like your like pinky, pa paper your, cut? Your pinky artery, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is next in here. I'm grabbing something big this time. Okay, I grabbed two things. 
Thanks, Wish. Do you think it's a bladed object? I think so. And that doesn't explain what's in this box. If that was in this box, what's in this box? The manual. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the uh, liability claim. Did your giant knife fall on you? Well, here's all the instructions on how not to sue us. But there's two. No Dude, that's pretty sweet. It's got an actual hand guard. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, let us pop these open real quick. Let's move this stuff. Let's pull this thing out. Hey. <laughs> that ain't bad. <laughs> I would hope it's at least sharp. Like, Dude, that's not bad though. Okay. Wish list these as survival choppers. So I guess it's kind of like a machete mixed with a Bowie knife. And I totally am vibing with these because first off, for the price that I paid, I thought I was only buying one. And there's freaking two of them. But it has a bottle opener on the top. I'm pretty sure that's just a coincidence. But it's a bottle opener. I'm yeah. sure you can do that. <laughs> it's a bottle opener in this three. It's pencil sharpener. Right. <laughs> on the handle though, for the survival aspect, they actually Jeez, put paracord. Oh, that's she's greater. We'll go outside and test these out. Dual chop. Choppers. I'm not gonna complain about that. I guess I only paid for one, so thanks, Wish. Here we go, guys. Double choppers. Let's do it. Boom! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. The double choppers. <laughs> Oh my god. I got shot. <laughs> so we cut the top clean off of that one. <laughs> Quite what I expected. <laughs> Oh wow, that's nice, nice. Thanks. All right, now we're gonna do one last test and we're gonna move on from these, but these are freaking awesome. All right, going for a double slash. Are you ready for this? First oh, time yeah, I've ever done I'm this, I'm gonna be careful. Oh! <laughs> oh wow! Dude, oh, that's come on! Sick. No, that was sick. I know, but I cut hey. everything except for the hey, damn handle. You tried your hardest, dude. But at least I have this dog bowl. <laughs> All right, but are they throwable? Let's find out. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that would hurt though. Can you imagine two double machetes? <laughs> that is so much damage. All right, let's finish this thing up. What? This is actually a pretty good wish track record. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Like, These are solid, everything's holding up. I'm not gonna give two items, two seals, but hey, it would be this close. There's a seal, it's a seal contender. Let's see what else is in that box. Alright, so let's get back in here and see what else we got. I'm gonna go for something on the smaller side this time. Let's see what we got. Okay, a black bag as mysterious as this box. Alright, let's get it up, let's see what we got here. This gave me nothing. Alright, so now that we got this, let's see what we got right here. Are these pants? X stretch. They, they misspelled stretch. <laughs> stretch. Did somebody say stretch? Uh, well, no. That's what that's what they're going for, but they uh -huh. actually but they misspelled it, so it's I actually said stretch. Uh, okay, not, good. Yeah, not stretch. Because yeah, stretch, that's Jeff. It's copyrighted, all right. Yeah, but yeah, I, whatever, whatever you're saying right now, I don't care. Okay. What a friend. I know, right? Damn. What do you mean a friend? Is a got one? I'm putting him back in the room. All right, so after further inspection, these are waterproof pants. <laughs> Basically what it is, if it's like a doomsday situation, like a hurricane or some kind of flood, a lot of bacteria is what the company's claiming. Like stretch. They're claiming that there's a lot of pollutants in that water, which is true. If there's a hurricane, a lot of the sewer water actually comes up and gets into that water, and it's very disgusting. So this should protect your lower half and your orifices from being infected. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try them on, and we'll find out if they're really waterproof. All right, so it took a while, but I would manage to be able to squeeze into them. It's a Chinese medium, so I did a lot for my confidence. <laughs> so they're on. These are the waterproof pants. There's a very obvious problem we'll talk about, but first off, the style. I'm for real, man. Yeah. Like, damn. <laughs> but the problem is, they are waterproof, but the problem is, is there's nothing on the bottom to close them because, um, maybe I'm wrong, but you get water. Wouldn't the water just go up your, your leg? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put my feet inside these plastic bags. We're gonna gorilla tape them around the pants. I am wearing my regular pants, so if my regular pants get wet, then we can go ahead and say these aren't waterproof. All right, guys, so I have the pants on and I did this so that way my feet would be protected. So if any water gets in, we will know these are not waterproof. Also, remember I said that thing about my confidence? Ruined, because I bopped the zipper. Okay. I have a compliment, man. Yeah, let's yeah, go with that. <laughs> so what we're gonna start with is Parker is gonna be spraying my entire leg area and I'm gonna see if my pants underneath get any wet. But another fun fact, my phone screen's cracked. Oh. I'm gonna keep this in my pocket. So if any water hits it, I doubt the waterproofing work, but just for the science of it, let's do it. All right, we're starting off minor here. Go for it. I feel cold. You feel, that, you, feel I, the, you feel the cold? I feel cold. You feel the wet? Right. So far, I feel Go good. Ahead, give us a roundabout. That's for your butt. <laughs> All right, I think that should be good for the first test. All right, so you soaked me right here pretty good. You can even see looks, some of the water drops left here. I mean, looks, I don't know, it looks dry. Do you looks, feel dry? It feels okay, I can't really tell 100%. But let's see if my phone is wet. You blasted this spot pretty thoroughly. Let's see if my phone is wet at all. 
Nah, it's still cracked. Oh, right. that, that didn't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now, now I have to do this. I kind of was hoping it was wet because now I'm doing this, all right? So give me a second, throw my phone in here because this, my phone's not going to be in this time. So what we're going to be doing is inside of here, this is 100%, or oh, almost 100%, 80% filled with water. All right, <laughs> I'm going to be getting inside of here. Obviously, the splash test didn't work. So if you were at SeaWorld and, you know, Shamu jumped, your, your pants would be fine. But I'm talking about goddamn hurricane. Okay. <laughs> we were if we were trenching through about four feet of water, would your legs get wet? Now that's what we're going to find out. All right, here we go. My feet feels dry so far. Okay. okay, there you go. We're in here. Got me wet, damn. <laughs> I wear no waterproof pants. So I'm gonna get all the way down. I'm submerged. You know what? I feel water going up oh. my leg. Oh, it's getting higher. It's getting higher. Oh, it's getting higher. It's not working. Bubbles are coming out. Oh, safe to assume didn't work? I feel like not. So <laughs> I'm gonna get out and we'll see where my pants are. Check, check them out, see if my pants are wet. I'm very cold. And if they are wet, assume I would have gotten a disease in a hurricane. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think by the amount of water. Oh. <laughs> I feel like my pant leg is one of those water reservoirs where you push your cup against it. I can literally feel it draining out my leg right now. Is that hole in it? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Are my pants wet? <laughs> Oh, it just looks like denim. I went in wearing light blue, and now I have dark blue. <laughs> okay, my pants are soaked. Like I said, guys, I can't even get them off. So like I said about Wish, guys, it's a hit or miss, as you guys know, but it's my favorite goddamn site there is because it's always the test. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash that like button, subscribe for your new year, and check out this video right here, guys. The last episode of Doomsday Preppers which is actually a fan mail edition where somebody actually sent survival gear in fan mail. I'll see you guys over there. Check it out. As always, Red Pack, I'll see you beautiful people the next one. Adios. Bloop.